Hi, I'm George from Melling. Thanks for clicking this segment. We're going to talk about standard volume, standard pressure pumps, standard volume, high pressure pumps, and high volume pumps. We're going to use the small block Chevy pumps as examples for this segment. The M55 standard volume, standard pressure pump uses a one inch, 200 thousandths length gear and a spring to regulate the pressure at 55 to 60 pounds. The M55A uses the same one inch, 200 thousandths gear and a spring that regulates the pressure at 75 to 80 pounds. The M55HV uses a one inch, 500 thousandths gear and a spring that regulates the pressure at 70 pounds. Hey, what do I see down here? Oh, hey, it's just the gears, not binoculars. These are the two gears out of the Chevy pumps. We've got the one inch 500 thousandths, we've got the one inch 200 thousandths. It's real obvious to see the length difference in the gears, and it's that length that produces the difference in volumes, the difference between a standard volume, the difference between a high volume pump. The same theory applies here with the over the crank pumps. The thicker the gerotor, the more volume. Our 10295 pump is a standard volume, high pressure pump. The 10296 is a high volume, high pressure pump. I get questions all the time. Can I change my pump to a high volume pump? The answer is absolutely not. A standard volume pump with a standard volume gear, you need a high volume pump with a high volume gear, which is a bigger gear. The only thing you can do to this pump is to change the spring to change the pressure setting higher or lower. In conclusion, it's the length of the gears that determine the difference between a high volume and a standard volume pump, and the springs that determine the difference in pressures in your engines. I'm George Richmond. Thanks for clicking.